Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to set up PHP programming environment inside Visual Studio Code. So, what we are going to learn? We will learn to set up the PHP programming environment. After that, we will create a test program and then we will run it inside the Visual Studio Code. I'm going to explain you everything here step by step. You can see all the steps mentioned in front of you in this notepad and we will start with the step one. This is the first step. In the first step, we need to download the PHP setup and we need to install it on our system. And this is the download link, same link present in the description of this tutorial. So you guys just check the description of this tutorial and copy the link, open the browser and paste this link in the address bar like this and press enter and you will get this kind of page. This is the official PHP download page. Here we have a version 8.2 ready for the download. And here we have two type of uh, uh, packages to download for the PHP. First one is a non-thread safe package, which we are not going to prefer. Mostly it is recommended to go with the thread safe version. So we are going to download this version. Here we have a link and the file size is 30.35 MB, which will not take much time to download. So simply click on this link. And soon you will see your file downloading is started. Once the file downloading is done, we will copy this zip file and we will put somewhere in a separate folder and then we will extract this zip file. And our file is downloaded. And I will copy this file and placing here in the separate folder. Do the right click select the unzip software option and extract this file and we will get this kind of folder when you go inside the folder you will find lots of files make sure you have a php.exe in place okay now we need to set this path into environment variable so copy this path and go to edit environment variable, click new and paste, click OK and save. Okay, now we need to follow this step two. In the step two, we are going to verify the PHP installation. In order to do this, type CMD in the search. When the CMD is open, you have to type a simple command php space hyphen hyphen version press enter and then you will see this kind of message php 8.2.10 built august 29 2023 when you get this message that means your php setup is perfectly done now we are good to go with the step 3 in the step 3 we need to download a plugin for Visual Studio Code to work with the PHP. As you can see, there are many plugins for the PHP language available in the Visual Studio Code marketplace. So we simply search for one and we will install it. Let me open the Visual Studio Code. Okay, so now we are inside the Visual Studio Code. Now go to here in the extension search and type PHP and you will get so many results here. So I'm looking for the extension which can provide the complete support including all debugging tools. Okay, it looks compatible with our requirement. So I will click on it to install. And here we have a small button to install. Click on it. And the stalling will take place within one minute. This will not take much time. 
okay finally we will get the message once the installation is done this extension is enabled globally that's great so extension installation is done successfully inside the visual studio code this will provide us debugger error intellisense support now we have to do one more important thing now we will go back here in this notepad file now we are going to follow the step 4 in the step 4 we need to change some settings which is required inside the visual studio code go here in the settings this click on this gear icon now click on the settings in the search box type php when you do this you will get this kind of result php basic controls whether the build in php language suggestions are enabled because we have installed the extension that that's why this is disabled okay if you want the uh, php language supports uh, like a default one so you can check it and then your uh, plugin support will be disabled and validation is already enabled now here we need to set one thing that php.exe path click here on this link and the settings.json file will be opened now look at the line number 23 php.validate.executable path here we have to give the path to php.exe file so now we are here in this folder where we have this php.exe file copy this path go back in the visual studio code paste it and add file name php.exe okay but the escape sequence the forward uh, slash is required for this we need to change this backward slash to forward slash to make it compatible for the json file so i'm changing it this way after that this error will be disappeared okay you can see error is gone now the path is set php to path is set to php.exe and save this file okay now we will we will go back to notepad we will going to follow the next step now we are at the step 5 in this step 5 we will create a php program in the visual studio code and we will try to run it okay go to the explorer and the next task you have to do you can simply create a folder and if you have any folder which is already there on your system and you want to make it dedicated for all the php program and you can put all those programs here so just copy the path go inside the visual studio code and uh, click here on the open folder and paste that path here and select the folder that we decided to for our php programs so that folder will be opened here now now we are ready to create programs php file inside this folder simply we have to click on this icon and just type the file name whatever you want i'm going with the name hello.php once i put the extension .php you can see this purple elephant which is reflecting the file is php and the file is ready i have already created one php file and the code is here so i will this i will open this file in the notepad and then i will copy the sample code and i will paste this code inside the visual studio code okay now code is pasted you can see the color formatting all tags are appearing with proper color some color coding is applicable because we have uh, added the extension in the visual studio code to get the support for the php programming okay this way we have a simple program that is adding two numbers do the right click and then you will see this message when you select run code so guys what is happening we have installed the extension we have uh, added some path but we have not restarted the visual studio code to make it work 
Please restart the Visual Studio Code once and come back, do the right click and you will get the result. See this? We got the result. The sum of two numbers, which is properly working. Also, we have this uh, play button, this run button. You can run this program via this button as well. This time we are processing the PHP code only. Previously, we have some HTML elements that will be uh, displayed as it is because we are not using any web server here. So simply we are interpreting the PHP statements. Also, we are getting all IntelliSense support here. If you want to learn the PHP syntax, if you want to learn to write functions, method calling, all those stuff that you want to learn inside the PHP. So this will be very helpful. You can learn easily. So guys, this is the way you can set up the PHP working environment inside the Visual Studio Code. I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful. Please hit the like button and please do subscribe to learn more. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.